All right, basic uh, squaring, and we're going to start with the base, um, square base, and we're going to switch that to the triangle base. So, to start, we're going to square our paper. So, we're just going to take it, get a rectangular paper, standard paper. And then we're going to make kind of this triangle fold. And we're going to try to line it up right there. So it comes through this square into the space down there like that. And then you'll see we've got this extra flap of paper right here. And what we're going to do then is we're going to take this and cut this off. We've got this fold down the middle and what we're going to do is now you can do this with any kind of square or any kind of paper newspaper wrapping paper or what have you but to make this easier we're just using standard like writing paper or printer paper so you'll notice that now to start with we're going to do what's called the square base and then we'll show you a quick way to transition to square base both of these bases are um, kind of building blocks in origami. You'll see that crease is on the inside. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this over and make the next crease over here like this. So now you'll notice that I've created these triangles here. Triangle, 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 triangle. You'll notice the creases are on the top. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over so those creases are on the bottom like this. And wait a minute, we're going to flip them back this way so they're up. So, sorry, creases are going to be up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold it kind of hot dog style this way once. And we're going to fold it, flip it, and turn it. And you'll see that crease right there. And make the other one the other way. So we end up with those two uh, perpendicular lines or 90 degree angles. You'll see that if I pop this a little bit, you'll see... I've got triangles here. You've got these triangles showing up. And then what I do is the magic to make a triangle base is I'm just going to take them and squeeze them together. And what will happen is you'll see it kind of make like a star that's coming together. And if I fold it together, I end up with what's called the triangle base. Like that. And you can see it. That's what it looks like on the bottom. And then on the top, you'll see all the pieces together. Now, if I wanted to start with a square base, I'm going to flip it over so you'll notice that my square angles are facing each other. So then I'm going to do the same process. I'm going to kind of squeeze it together. And you'll notice you'll end up with that triangle looking thing, but this diamond looking thing. You see the diamonds on the side. But when you fold them together and kind of turn it off to your side, you'll notice that it is a square. And so you'll end up with a square base. And you'll know you got a square base is because all your bottoms, if you look, the bottoms will be all kind of loose with that fold in there, and then the tops will be all detached. So, one more time triangle base. Again, make sure your triangles are up. And then square base, flip it upside down, pull them together. And you'll end up this diamond looking thing, but if you turn it on the side, you actually see the square base. So, it's the intro. We squared a piece of paper. Made a square piece of paper. And then we folded it on both sides to make those triangles to come up with the triangle base. And then we flipped it. And this way to make the square base.